stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. How? Hurry. We best not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick, Rita. The spurs, the... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Vérandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! <laughs> How dare you show me such disrespect! <laughs> you irresponsible wretch! Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. 
Ready to teach them a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are your mates bad. now, you bilge rat? Talk before I bash out your brains! We will find them and let them bury what's left of you. Oh. Oh. Lads, their pals are still out there somewhere. Here goes again. Thank you. I thought I'd be hanged. Happy hunting, lads! Set her ablaze! Sink that French vessel! No match for you! Ha ha! Yeah! I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. Well, this pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. Should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their captain, but next to me you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? Hell, she. Your own pile of garbage, yes? Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we? Begin, Captain. Indeed, mate. Oh, God, no. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. And her name's the Morgan. Morgan? That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. Morgan is an old goddess, the queen of war and darkness. She halves of the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. A ship! Ship! They will sink her! Let's put the Morrigan to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, men! Bloody miss! Awaiting orders, sir! We're headed right back. into them! Stop them, boy! Fire! Tearing her to pieces! Do something!
on this path already after all. I will return to what is left of the Gekko. It's a long way home. We have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. What the hell did you do? It's... some kind of dormant virus? Shit! Hang on, I'm getting you out of there! Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Anonymous, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell. Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever? Here, take your communicator, check it if you get lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is gonna be okay, guys. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss LeMay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Miss LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Miss Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out. So I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot. Good job. This core wasn't too complex. But rebooting the advanced hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. The 
The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. Who's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. See? He join me for some practice. Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened, old friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I heard the Wally looked worried earlier. I heard that Liam's waiting for you. Seen him yet? I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. Oh, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Shoot these targets. You take your time. Not too much more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hear targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up.
Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. And don't you forget it. I'm your teacher. And you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? You certainly know how to handle yourself. You certainly know how to handle yourself. Hmm? You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Time for the hunt. Use all your senses to, to find prey. us good now to use what you have taken from nature with these you can keep your pistols close Achilles has one more thing to show you Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none 
are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan, we choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the tongue in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. How trustworthy are the pirates? I consider them brothers, Shane. When the time comes, they will lend aid and help us fight the Templars. If only the roast beef would realize the Templars were pulling their strings. Are the Templars truly in control in the colonies? Not quite, but their influence reaches far and wide. And what about the spy we're meeting? You need not worry about Le Chasseur. He is loyal to the Brotherhood. As it happens, he also has friends in both the French and English fleets. And he knows more about what goes on in these parts than you can ever hope to learn. So Liam, what could you tell me about Adewale? You obviously admire the man. Aye. I had the honor of working with him once. I've never known anyone who'd done so much for our cause. So much more than that. There, Captain! An English vessel! And she looks to be in trouble! That's fine indeed. Perhaps we should aid the journey to the bottom. Now let's not be too hasty. Put a crown cargo. Take a look through your spyglass and see for yourself. This is exciting. I say this is a great day to light in King George's pockets. Be careful. If you shut the... Captain, hold your fire. Don't want to sink her. Now's the time. Let's board her. We can board Show them what's for, Captain. The Come on, man. Spires are ours. For the more again. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. We should strengthen the Morgan before going any further. 
There's a harbour master station nearby. Spend on new wealth and improvements. I didn't realize there was a brotherhood in Haiti. Yes. Francois McCandle is their mentor. He got as many of his assassins from the Maroons. Those are escaped slaves and their children, right? They are. A shame, though. They escaped terrible conditions only to be killed in that earthquake. But... Haiti's a French colony now. Aye, it is. Is this the place? I see nothing but fishermen and their gear. Aye, per se and fishing go hand in hand. But it will serve our purposes well enough. The French fish these waters first, but King George is laying claim to more every year. The locals are caught in the middle. Draw a banker! You'd better borrow some coin. Bartering with an empty purse won't get you very far. J'aimerais bien qu'il se dépêche de valider ma mutation à Saint-Domingue. What's on your mind, Captain? A bit of business, that. Indeed. The chasseur is waiting for us. The sea between here and Anticosti is rough, Captain. The Morrigan seems sturdy enough for the challenge. Ships ahoy! More fishermen from Perse. Enemy ships! They're sinking the fishing boats. You must believe those fishermen strayed into their waters. Scouts must pay! And would you look at that? They're standing right in our way to add to What we'll say you? you? Sink every last one of them? For once, I find myself agreeing with you, Shay. Stranger things have happened. Caesar. 
salt air, open skies, man out on the ocean is as free as a man can be. What do you say, Liam? We're out here for a reason. What's the point of freedom? You cannot breathe deep and enjoy it. The tempest is coming at the time. Don't fear liberated to we pry them off. There it is. Auntie Christie. The chasseur should be there. And with any luck, he will know where to find that manuscript. That's all but mates! Dock the ship here, Captain. We've arrived at Anticosti Island. Take a look at this. I borrow these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. Le Chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Shea Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. But were there no charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could ken Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay. Let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Ah, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. Well, if we've any luck, that ship will lead us right to him. Who's the main? I make my own luck, Liam. And Washington is running out of his. Got him. Aye. There she is. All right, man. Time to be quiet. Mainmast! Lawrence Washington is a powerful businessman, a slave owner, and a leading Templar. We lost track of him about a year ago. I recently learned he was in Barbados, but I haven't been able to confirm that. Now. Now you think he had something to do with the theft of the artifacts, don't you? I wouldn't put it past him. 
Eight is a short voyage from Barbados, and his return to the colony certainly coincides with the arrival of the artifacts. We cannot let the Templars get control of these colonies. Whatever happens, Lawrence Washington must not survive. I'll make sure he doesn't. Captain. But this won't do. Shay, you must follow that ship on land. I'll do that. Bring the Morrigan around another way. Aye, Captain. Track that package and find Washington. Doubt's on sight. And remember what I said, Shay. Washington. Captain's must gone to die. the deep! Extraordinary dream what, last do I night. Know you? What about? I was wearing a nice frock and dancing in a posh cafe in Paris. It was magical. I'm sorry. <laughs> starts on the 1st of January. Ah! Uh. 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 Uh.
is in this package? What's this? A rifle? You there! Stay! Where are you? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Buster Washington. This is a strange surprise. Not quite what I was expecting. Now I must find Washington and interrogate him. Splendid party, wouldn't you say? Indeed. Master Washington had a friend in help. He has been looking rather pale, though. And his cough is worse than ever. Do you expect any sane man to believe you? Stop there! in trouble tonight. I don't know. Security is all for time. The captain's all in all that. All I can know is that this is long as a I need to get to Washington first. Then I'll worry about the artifacts. Hold that. 
brother. Are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> my brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Washington can barely stand on his own feet. Better be right about it, Liam. Because I'm about to murder a dying man. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. God damn it. Better hurry. I have to get to the Morgan. Liam, I hope you brought the ship around. That's a shit mortar! That's not Spartan! Watch your status. Watch your 
lined up, God. What a joke! Valiant attempt, Hobbs! Loose made sails! Lawrence Washington is dead. You look disappointed. The sickly way that man looked, he would have been dead in a month anyway. And two other Templars got away. They're looking into the manuscript and box. Did they have the artifacts? I don't know. Perhaps. I can't be sure. Then you did what was right by the Brotherhood. We'll find the object later. Cheer up, Shane. It's a rare day we could sow such chaos among the Templars. Perhaps. But to hear Washington speak, it didn't sound like they'd be too put out by the loss. Well, that's what he'd want you to think. 